All right, so I put these picnic tables together. I put these picnic tables together to do a nice little exercise for the triceps. Great job, Travis. I watch all your videos. I've been a fan since the beginning. Keep it up. You're doing good job. Doing good work. Yeah, hey, Mr. Hines. Yeah, I'm gonna. Um, you got some ID on you? I'm just playing. Hey, Travis. We love you, man. You put your phone number on YouTube though. <laughs> it's like kind of some kind of Google number here. Love your videos, man. Keep them coming. Peace.
So I don't, I don't like to drive and stop, drive and stop too many times, especially in the summertime because I'm not a big fan of having to put on all the sun protection on the windows and then take it off and then put it on and take it off. I get kind of lazy after some time. Just try to keep my my moving around as limited as possible. All right, I was looking for my turmeric powder, but I couldn't find it. I did find the gelatin first. Now I'm wondering, what about gelatin and orange juice? That, I think that'd be interesting. I don't think I want to throw turmeric in with it. A little different change of uh, of texture. <laughs> I buy the orange juice with the pulp. Maybe I should stop doing that and make the gelatin be the pulp instead. Con no concentrates. Some pulp, but the gelatin the gelatin could be the pulp instead. This is so comfortable. What the heck? Did I break it? Oh. All right, something fell off on the bottom side of my car. What is the deal with this? Uh, where is the oil? It protects the oil, huh? What does this normally do? How important is it? It sits like right here. Do I need to have it? It protects the radiator? How important is this thing? I just... I don't know if I should just rip it off completely and hope for the best or what? I can't have it dragging on the ground. It's clipped in. I can't just have it dragging on the ground. I'm a pretty careful driver. I don't want to break anything. It's like... So that's a part of the air? did you fall over? I think I broke it when I ran over some some roses. Uh, I just have to cut it off with scissors I guess. Okay so you went to the bottom. Oh. Oh, I am on the third page. Okay. Alright. About, okay. Once you click on that, there is going to be a link all the way down at the bottom that says Weber's policy. Okay, in the about page. Okay, I'll, I'll go look. Alright. You're going to click on it? I click past it. Oh, look at that. Yeah, that's going to be separate from the last library policy. Ah, okay. Yeah, that's like a temporary. Yeah, that's going to be separate. Okay, and that's on the about page. About the library. Yeah, okay. 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 Back then, pretty shady. I think he's gonna turn into here. Let's see if we catch him. Yeah, he's just slowly creeping around here. Who's he looking for? Slowly creeping. 
So all those spider walk exercises have just taken, I've just noticed they've taken the crack out of my back. I normally would rock my shoulders back to try to straighten it out and it would crack and it's now stopped doing that. Um, I'm, I've, I've effectively bent my back uh, backwards and and uh, I'll, I guess I'll be pushing that threshold because I love doing the spider crawl exercises. So they actually put posts all over the place. This is the first park I've seen this. All these black circles are posts. For some kid who died. So they made, he, 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 a kid with a lot of money who died. So they put up these three stations here. And then all these green posts are uh, the points marked on the map to encourage you to put up a, a slack line. And I guess they're different lengths. So this is the slack line park. Balance walking at its finest with these posts. And you gotta bring your own slack line I've never seen that before. It's pretty rare. It's pretty, pretty rare to have slack line posts. I just pulled my calf muscle. Is it bunched up? It's, it pulled right here. It's broken. What the heck? I just run across the street. It's like the second step, I pull something. Oh God. Oh man, hurts to walk. But as I sat down, I got up to see this. Homeless anything helps. Okay, he'll be back for his hat probably. All right, so I brought this over, showed him. I'm like, I need this without the pin. And the guy was, showed me a wrench thing, a full wrench that you grip for $44. I'm like, that's a little much. And then he said, oh, you can knock the pin out of this. It, it doesn't look like it's all one piece. I just, I don't know how much force that would take. It's apparent, I don't know which way it could go either. Apparently this can be knocked out. It's the same size for my, the bolt as it is the the cassette i wonder if uh, eating more star anise uh, contributed to me um pulling my calf muscle all right so this is the best spot i can apply magnets and actually keep the magnets uh, for this pulled calf muscle the energy pathway is is i think it's through here on this side this was a, this is the side i pulled it Got a mix of several herbs in there, a lot of coffee, and I let it sit for a long time. I went for a big walk and pulled my calf muscle, and it's cool enough to drink by itself. I don't have much milk anyway. All right, this is kind of a rare situation where I can actually enjoy catnip and coffee at the same time. Usually it's like within the day. Everything's cooled down. I, I went for a walk, so got it all together and it's a good combination Did I say catnip I meant catfish before I pour any more of this willow bark water I just want to make note that is some dark liquid I did not notice that before it just needed more time to leach because I think it was clear before look how dark that is when I initially when I immediately poured it after boiling it was pretty clear so take some time so I made sure to use oat straw to counteract the coffee oat straw it's insane to me there's like four basketball hoops and 30 people 
That's insane. Hey, we got a turn. Deadwood, South Dakota population. It did not say welcome to Deadwood. It just gives a sign, Deadwood. That's not a good sign. <laughs> they don't want to put welcome to. Oh, here we go. Maybe they might say it here. Nope. Deadwood, resting place of Wild Bill Hickok. That's it? Oh, there it says it. Really small letters. Welcome to Deadwood. Okay, we're going to lead, but uh, wow, I didn't expect uh, such a busy intersection. Okay, going to, oh, yeah, you gotta wait for him. Take your time. Okay, so Deadwood is Sanford Underground Laboratory. Sanford, er, uh, Deadwood's probably the more popular one. One mile to the city of Dead of Lead, 31, tw National Register. Okay, there was a lot on that sign I missed. I thought somebody was behind me. Wow, this is a climb. Going to Lead, South Dakota, St. Patrick's Catholic Parish. Wow, that is a climb. This is a big climb. 4760. Yeah, you don't want to be, well, you could walk this. There's people walking. You got to be careful walking. 30. And they're just, yeah, they're just people walking down the hill. Yeah, this this town might be 5,000 elevation. They had to cut into the rock to make this road. They cut deeply into this rock. They're probably blowing it up to make this road. They had to use a lot of dynamite for this road. Okay, uh, right, so the library's on this road. Big climb. I'm gonna hit 5,000 for sure. All residential streets, 20 miles an hour. How is parking? I bet parking's a nightmare. There's an interpretive trail. So I think they said all streets are 20. Yeah, there's, there's some old stuff to look at. This is about 0.6 miles away from the library. Wow, I could park here, right? This is parking. Oh my God, I think I would like that a lot. This is general free parking. I don't see any any regulation on parking. They don't even, they don't even have no no over they don't even have any uh no overnight parking wow there's a lot to look at around here all right i don't know where the line is they have not repainted the lines so i guess i'll just take this and yeah stop this